everybody's really, really excited about the upcoming Call of Duty game, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, we got a bunch of leaks going around. There's a leak video that I also want to show you in this video. We got teasers reveal as well. Cover art got leaked out. Everything's leaking out at, at this point, guys. And check this out. Even the next Call of Duty game is getting leaked out, though. So, I'm talking about the next year's game, right? So, check this. So, Tom Henderson, first of all, we're going to smash a like button. Let's go for two likes on the video, guys. Be nice. If you love your mama, smash a like button, you know what I'm saying? So, Tom Henderson says, I have, uh, and I quote, Beyond Black Ops 2, that might be the title of the game, right? And he says that if you know, you know, this might be the tagline of the game, or it might be something that he's saying. If that's the case, then we know Black Ops 4 was apparently Forget What You Know. Uh, this year's game might be, hey, uh, forget the, the BBC bundle, Bruh. right? Or something like that. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. How would I know, right? How would I know? But Charlie until is going ham with it because the new, uh, the TV in the new Black Ops 6 teaser website only goes up on Channel 6. I want to show you the video as well. Just wait for it. And, and it looks like that it's going to be similar to how, you know, the last uh, last time last time when Treyarch came out with Black Ops Cold War, they had the Pawn uh, Takes Pawn website. And, and yeah, a lot of people love that. And yeah, when they were trying to reveal the weight of one week, that was a little bit painful and it was a like, yikes. But other than that, everybody really like that because we don't necessarily get reveals like that from Infinity Tart, Infinity Art, Infinity Tart, they drop the game, they drop BBC bundles, and then they peace out, right? But with Treyarch, it's a little bit different. I hope it's gonna be different this time, okay? We say the same thing every year that this year's Call of Duty game is gonna save everything, it's gonna save us, and then we're like, yeah, next time it will be better, but maybe this time it's gonna be better. So, yeah, uh, the reveal is nigh, don't let your dogs out, and this is a second teaser video, and I want to show you another teaser video, and then we're gonna dive into the leak video. Okay, check this. So they uh, released this recently. Breaking another teaser video for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is live. There are no dialogues, so they're just painting like, yeah. Let's go, let's go. The guy says, let's go, let's go. Damn, homie. So like four characters blurred out though. Hey. The truth lies. Yeah, I think that's uh, that. This is gonna be the, the the tagline. Not necessarily forget the BBC bundle. I don't know, man. I'm just uh, assuming that right now. And this is the first ever one. It's quite uh, quite sick, actually. I uh, I have to agree. I have to agree. Leaks video right after this. Damn, brother, climbing though. Brothers always love climbing. That's like one thing that I've learned while being on this planet for like 27 years. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Brothers running, yeah, brothers love running. Away from responsibilities. Blurred faces, and this is that peak of the, the teaser. No, honestly, bro, like, it does look sick, though. I want to know your thoughts. W, like the video if you finding it kind of all right but we know the game might not be this good i hope it is this time but check this out we're gonna put the homie mr dolly jd though oh, oh, i'm shaking he loves shaking and ironically the, the video where he says that oh, oh, i'm shaking that is from call of duty 2020 reveal <laughs> let the last track reveal so four years later is he gonna be shaking let's find out the news and teasers for black ops 6 just keep dropping as yeah. this is a breaking news video as a box art for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 has leaked online. Yeah. Now, this artwork Damn. has been leaked in a blurred version online on Twitter by a user called at BillBill underscore Kun, who is one of the biggest leakers within the video game industry, where absolutely everything he posts is 100% correct and is never wrong. Don't know how on earth this person was able to get this artwork, but according yeah. to Charlie Intel- Yo, Honestly, it does look like the original Black Ops 1 game, and that happens to be my first Call of Duty game. Yeah, this sec is- if this game turns out to be bad, I know that people are gonna say, well, next year Call of Duty game will save us. You know that's gonna happen, but they are really playing with nostalgia. Uh, don't they always play with nostalgia? They do, they do. Yes, let's be real. But this time, even the cover art is looking like the first Call of Duty game, damn it. Uh, I know there's like a little bit of the orange in the background that was not present in the very first Black Ops game, but, but still, like, it's the same motion. Some people are also saying this is Reznov. Some are saying Alex Mason. Some are saying Frank was like, it's all over the place. Yeah. Nobody knows who this is, okay? Might be the new character, might be Russell Adler. 
detail. This is 100% the real artwork. This yeah. isn't an image that's created just for clicks. This is 100% the real deal. And it is such a good feeling to see that the main box art is going to be just like the original Black yeah. Ops. The iconic yeah, Black crazy. Ops soldier sat with the Mustang and Sally pistols. And, and they recently added the Sally pistols in Warzone as well, right? So that was a tease as well. And right as we get down to the climax of this video, real quick, guys, I want to say I have a second channel. This is where we upload the UFO content, conspiracy content like the Black Ops, okay? Uh, check out this channel. Definitely subscribe to it. If you do use Twitter, uh, definitely follow on Twitter. Links would be in the description uh, and in the pinned comment where you can catch Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, all the YouTube channels, and as well as the secret link. Oh, Yay! Oh. All right, let's get back to the content now and we are literally getting the exact same vibes and pose from that which we also got for the black ops 3 artwork but in that futuristic version and i am so so excited yeah. like there is just something so oh, special yeah. about oh, seeing shaking. that black ops pose and if like me you are ridiculously excited by this you need to let me know in the comments and smash the thumbs up now at yeah, this point you might have stared at this long it. enough that you might have been able to work out who the character is that is going to be the focus of the box art here the experts are saying it's resonal yeah, and to to me, this is one of two characters. The first and the obvious is that it looks like Russell Adler. There's a very specific yeah, outfit that, that he yeah. has in Cold War where he wears a hat and it looks very, very similar to that. Now, we could be- Yeah, honestly, like if it's Adler, I think it's gonna be perfect blend of new and also like nostalgia. Uh, yeah, and if the campaign is good, if the multiplayer is good, zombies is good, yeah, they, they're gonna make a comeback. And truly though, like, Guys, like, listen here for a second, okay? Before we get down to the climax, or there's a there is more, but wait, there is more. Listen, man, I do agree that, like, Call of Duty has been bad these last few years, right? And we have gotten so many bad releases after bad releases. Don't you just want one good Call of Duty game, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't you just want to see, like, one good Call of Duty game? I want to see at least one good game. Next year, we can... No, n next year, I also want a good game Bruh. because it's Black Ops 2. But in 2026, okay, fair. Like, we can get a bad Call of Duty game and we can dunk on it. We can make trashing videos on it. Yeah, but this time, like, we have made... Like, we have trash collectively as a whole right like we have trash call of duty so much and deservingly so rightfully so wow okay i'm not saying that uh, gamers are toxic or anything like that no 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 rightfully so okay but this year like i i want to see a good call of duty game man like it's it's getting tiring uh talking about the same crap over and over so hopefully this turns out to be good all right, all right do you think that that's copium hope hopium hopium do you think that's hopium uh or not let me know absolutely bang on with that prediction but also game? we need to think know, why would the next black ops game be solely focused around russell adler a character that was introduced in cold war and the yeah. other explanation on who this character could be is that we learned all the way back in last year that an actor has a big involvement in this year's game where he apparently plays the main character oh, who yeah. is called ratcliffe. ratcliffe this was all yeah. posted on his personal facebook page and then of course once the internet got wind of it post was immediately wiped from facebook Facebook, but if so this was posted oh shit i thought like it was posted 2016 now i think this was posted last year in 2023 on 10th of july activision decided to adapt their new next main character radcliffe and brother was like yeah let me just go ahead and leak it bro let me <laughs> yo he didn't even give a damn thing to all my my college roommates back at uh, Anderson University. Yeah, he was trying to make them jelly. Uh, and those years in Smith Hall playing Black Ops 2. Next year, we can beat the snot, uh, snot out of each other again. But I want to play as me. Yeah, damn. Yeah, so the homie is definitely going to be in the game. Or perhaps, like, because he leaked it, they might have just uh, kicked his ass out. Nah, I don't think so. But, but like, yeah, like, he shouldn't have posted that. And, and later on, he took it down. Of course, the internet's the internet, so it's already too late. And there's a chance that this main character box art is actually of the main character, Ratcliffe. If they're going to go down the route of it being the main character on the box, like we've seen with the Modern Warfare games recently. Yeah. Now, as I'm making this video, the leaker has just followed this up to say that he's the one who blurred this intentionally and that he won't leak the unblurred cover. But the <laughs> fact... So you're saying that he has a leak one oh, too? Oh, Yo, when is that game getting revealed? I know June the 9th at, at, at Xbox event, we might get the gameplay walkthrough, but I, I suppose like a day or two before that, we're gonna get the trailer. So let's just say June the 5th, or perhaps by the end of this month, May 31st, what day is that? Let me actually real quick check it and let you guys know. So May 31st is a Friday, technically can happen, or next Tuesday. I mean, today is Wednesday, so out of nowhere, they dropped this teaser. Some people were believing we're gonna get something 
So next week we can realistically get the trailer and the week after, which is going to be the week of Summer Game Fest and Xbox event as well, the reveal showcase, that's when we can get the, the gameplay reveal. The fact that he even has an unblurred version of the cover makes me believe that we are extremely close from the official reveal of this box art. And I have a sneaky suspicion that by the end of this week, we might have the full-fledged reveal of this artwork, unblurred, revealed in the way that it was originally intended. Yeah, we might be getting it like by the end of this week uh, and trailer next week and gameplay reveal in two weeks from now. Honestly, times be crazy. But check out this video on the screen recently Activision went crazy, they went gang gang, and the homie got Buka Kyoto. Yay! So the homie ended up getting banned. Uh, check out this video on the screen. On the left, this video is about the recent leaks and news about uh, GTA 6 Rockstar dropped some very, very good news as well. So check this out, and I'll see you right there.